All right, all right, all right, guys. Welcome. This is another video, an informational video on my skiff. I get a lot of guys who micro focus on little details on my skiff and want to have answers to questions. That uh, I'm hoping that some of these videos will answer their questions, and I can just send them to the video. So on this skiff, there's no console. It's just got a grab rail, which is a rail that goes up and over like this. And uh, unfortunately, when it was being built by ANL Fiberglass over in Coco, I had not gotten to them in time. It was my fault. I hadn't gotten to them in time to get them to put in a conduit for the electronics. So my electronics are just strapped on and running right back here. I've never tripped over them. Never been a problem because of where they're placed. So it's all good. But I'm going to turn this camera on at the same time, and that way we can uh, kind of show you guys what it looks like from another direction. I think I know how to use this camera let's see so yeah here we go recording that so now you can see I've got my phone right here I've got my Lawrence 7 Ti2 and this is kind of the perspective from here so there's a grab rail I use ball mounts from a ram almost exclusively on everything I do because they're very strong so that's why I use ram so looking down you can see um, that I used some of the things I learned from from running a from running a kayaks. I translated those the ram mounts. That's one of them uh, to using it on the skiff. And here's one of them right here. Is this rail right here? I can move my phone on a ram mount anywhere I want it to go, and that makes it so I can change it so I can see it in the sun or whatever like that. So that's the way it's done. There's got to use the big ball on the bottom because the uh, the weight of this is fairly heavy so it just runs right out like this right out of the back it's, it's clamped on right here with one of the ram clamps it's a pretty substantial clamp because i want it to hold the darn thing and not fall off fall down or whatever now the fun thing about this let me let me let me just set this camera down we'll cut that and i'll show you the fun thing about this is you can take this mount and when you're when you're transporting your via, your boat you just drop this down to this right here and then go again suddenly everything is out of the wind because you got your your cooler in front or you got this uh tackle web i like that tackle web a whole lot you got that in front your wires are fine right here you can secure these wires more if you want but you want articulation when it comes to actually taking this and getting it out of the way you want to articulate it you know i leave mine hooked up for better or worse and that's how that runs guys i just wanted to show you real quick on how you can take a uh, a difficult situation with the limited abilities of a grab reel and really max it out so ball mount for camera there ball mount down here all ram mounts don't get aftermarket get ram and they're multifunctional so that's how that works guys thanks for watching so like and subscribe i hope this video answers some questions at least on my version of a console for a technical pulling skip the idea here is to keep it simple and keep it clean and keep everything so you can take it out if you need to or you can add on very easily with ram mounts and, and tracks from uh, from the kayaking world have a great day and be sure and subscribe texas flycaster on youtube visit the website www.texasflycaster.com